Hello everyone. So, we need to talk about the Super Bowl. Specifically, we need to talk about the Spongebob thing. Now, as many of you know, I am an avid Spongebob fan. Particularly seasons 1 through 3, which are the only ones that matter. Fight me. So, in memory of Steven Hillenburg, the creator of Spongebob Squarepants, who died last year, Super Bowl 53's halftime show had a petition to do the song from the Bubble Bowl episode, which was called Band Geeks, as part of their halftime show. Now, Maroon 5 was the band scheduled to do this, and there was a rumor going around that they were going to actually perform this song themselves. Instead, what happened, and I'm still trying to understand this a full day later, is that they had a clip introducing a different band not doing the song. It's like new animation. It's clearly the new style of Spongebob animation with the old style outfit from that episode. Then they cut to a clip from that episode that's not the song. It's like them blowing the horns and everything as the opening fanfare for the song and then not performing the song. And I don't... Why? It, it just it blows my mind. Why make an animation and get Squidward's voice actor, who was, as far as I know, fired from the show, to do an intro and then not do the song? Don't do an introduction. And the worst part was that the line was like, and now an artist who needs no introduction. I don't know who that is, actually. Granted, I'm not up on the music scene, but I just, it, I can't wrap my head around this. Like, I would literally rather have had them do nothing than what they actually did. Because I know there are a lot of Spongebob fans out there who are not football fans who are watching this specifically for this moment, and they're not gonna get it. It's just a total disappointment for those people. And it's totally confusing for the people watching who didn't know anything about this whole Spongebob thing because they're like, Is, was that Spongebob? What's happening? But I, I just, I don't understand why do half the thing and, and not the whole thing? Why do it at all? Like, it just infuriates everyone who actually was hoping for this or had no idea that it was coming. Like, you've pissed off both parties now. Band Geeks is one of my favorite episodes of all time of the show, and really seasons one through three really were pretty damn good. Like, 90% of it is, is still fantastic. And either way, it's a huge source of memes and references and all kinds of stuff that everyone can, like, understand because they all watched the same thing growing up. It's sort of a nostalgic thing. It was mega popular. Anyone in our generation pretty much can quote Spongebob at you, and if they can't, I have a media server. We can make it happen. Anyway, I don't know. I just... I don't understand. And I know there's no way to fix this. Like, they're not going to do it right next year because the only reason to do it was because so many people were fired up about it this year because of Steven Hillenburg's death. And I don't, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll rewatch the episode. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. I, I like Maroon 5. They're, they're fine. He's, Adam Levine is, is not an unattractive man. But I, I just don't understand why, like, half of the performance wasn't Maroon 5 and why he was taking his clothes off. Uh, I knew we were getting near the end because he was starting to run out of clothes that he could actually take off on national TV. And I just, I'm like, what is happening? Was that the entirety of SpongeBob? Why did you cut there? What is happening? What the hell? As an avid SpongeBob fan, I would literally rather they hadn't bothered. They did not do this justice in any way. And adding insult to injury, like, doing the new animation style and then cutting to the old animation style and then cutting away completely, it was jarring, it was unsettling to me as a fan of that show. I don't know, I just don't know who this was designed for. It was clearly not designed for the fans, it was clearly not designed for people who, like, weren't already into Spongebob. I just, who was the target audience of this? And believe me, I could go on for another hour about this children's show that's deeply important to me. Spongebob was a very important tool in my coping with the abuse that I was living through at that, at that time, so that is why this is so important to me. I grew up with it, and it was with me through some of the hardest times in my life, and, and I'm literally speechless. I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else there is to say. Because, like, why bother putting all this time and money into this if you're not going to make something good? I don't know what happened, I don't know who's at fault, I don't know who to blame, but OMG did they mess this up. And of course, none of this matters. I get it, I'm ranting about a children's show that hasn't been good in 10 years. Oops.
but it was so important to me back then, and I, I can't go back to that, obviously, so the only hope we have is to live in that nostalgia, and they totally messed it up. So I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what to do. <laughs> obviously, this country has much bigger problems to be dealing with right now. Hell, I have bigger problems to be dealing with right now. This is not the video that I promised. Um, that is having trouble getting produced, by the way. Long story. Gonna talk about it later. But we need to talk about the Spongebob thing. And I'm cutting myself off because I will make this video an hour long. So that is all for this video. I will be back again next week with another video that I hope you will find interesting and hopefully I'll actually be able to produce it. Uh, that's going to be a problem. But until then, stay curious.